Over the past 10 to 15 years, online journaling, better known as blogging, has become a huge way for many um, freelance journalists and websites and different companies to really get your message out there and create an environment of where you could go for different resources. Blogs are controlled anywhere from people privately uh, journalizing to tracking just their life all the way to talking about a hobby of theirs that they're trying to turn into a career to freelance journalists trying to publish what they believe is the truth. Blogging has been another great example of how anyone's opinion or anyone's expertise can become valid. So I'm just going to show you, because you're going to be working with Blogger here over the next week, and this is the website to Blogger. And if I head out real quickly, I want to see if I can get back to Google and get here. Okay, let's try it. Is it going to let me? It is not. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you around my blog here real quickly. It'll let me do this. It might let me go to view my blog. There is in the lesson... Over here to the side, you're going to see all the different descriptions of what these things are. A couple of these, like here, you don't want to do as far as the lesson because otherwise it's going to cost you money. Let's go back here. Oh, can I come back to this? What will let me click on it? Not that. Please hold. Okay, we're back. I just had to click on view blog. So here, for example, is the blog I somewhat maintain, which goes over different kinds of um, reflections and observations in developing a flipped classroom or a blended classroom. So you can see I'm doing some different postings that um, have some different significance, have a few different looks. And what you're going to start to see with blogging is that if I was to maintain this, which I'm hoping to continue to maintain it stronger over time, you're going to see that educators will start flocking to it. If I go back here a second, I'm able to see, um, hopefully the statistics, this is pretty cool how you can see the statistics where people are clicking all over the world. At some point in time, I had visitors from other countries which you can see off here to the right hand side which is kinda cool um, I don't know it's been a while since I've published anything back when I was publishing a little more frequently you could see different things um, and you can also see how they're accessing it so I haven't had the most views which is part of the reason I haven't updated as much but that's only nine views within the past couple months, including this view. Yeah, it has some different hits. So this is where we're going to be heading, is you're going to be picking a topic and working with the blog, or developing a blog, on that topic. And we're going to have you follow that topic throughout the web content management project here, so that you get practice in working with the same thing consistently.